Well, hello, a very warm welcome to you for this evening's game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. We have already started here. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. He's got away. Long has got himself a free kick. Is not finding anyone. Kyle Walker. De Bruyne. Sterling gets on the end of it. Has a pop! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence and it could well be revisited this. Long. And it will be a throw in. And it's played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. to get it away Bernardo Silva loses his balance and loses the ball and now the breakaway Redmond Ruben Diaz positions himself well and cuts it out and that's one way of trying to make things happen there's a few who could follow that example Gundogan cuts it out Vestergaard. Uh, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Now a chance to break. Ings tries to stroke it through. Rodri. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Bernardo Silva tries running with the ball at his... Oh, shooting chance! A oh, great save, real class. Bernardo Silva sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. That's not going to make it. And it's Sterling. Good ball. He's had a shot! Marvellous goal! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half-time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And when it's one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. And the half-time whistle goes, and there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference.
Walker goes looking. Romeu, forward it goes. Southampton make it a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front, and this is something different. And he's there to cut it out. De Bruyne. A real chance to break. And it's Bernardo Silva. Well played, he saw that coming. Bednarek. Ward Prowse. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settled for a, a riskier approach now to defend this. Looks to thread it. Hits one! In it goes! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Manchester City are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So here comes the substitution. Things starting to look very comfortable. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Romeo. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Gabriel Jesus. And a header! This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but... The runners from midfield, too. Mares. It looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Bernardo Silva. And that is it, the referee has seen enough.